Nathan and I started recording. Welcome everyone tonight to the uh, webinar with Andy Nathan here. He's going to get some new information on blog traffic training that's coming out. Uh, I haven't even seen it personally myself. He was talking to me on the phone earlier and you guys are in for you ladies and gentlemen are in for a treat tonight. Uh, make sure that you take notes. Make sure that uh, you're able to understand if there's anything at all that you don't understand about what he's saying if we're moving too fast. Not a problem. Let's get through the main part of uh, the presentation tonight. I will answer all the questions as much as I can, and we'll kind of hold off for a uh, toward the end of the presentation before we open that up to Andy. So, by all means, though, ask your questions. I'll be answering them as we go. And uh, I can't really give you a total outline, to be honest with you, because he's going to throw some surprises on me also. So, uh, I'm thank not you. Too many, but I'll, I'll, I want to keep it interesting. Okay, good, good. Well, all right. Uh, it's all basically we're going to hand the show over to Andy. He's got some uh, new ways uh, that he hasn't shown me yet, and he's going to surprise you. So make sure you grab a pen and some paper, and we'll ask answer your questions as fast as we can, and and uh, I'll take care of that. Go ahead, Andy. Take it take it away. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, so, uh, like Rick said, uh, this is uh, we we've done variations of this uh, webinar before, so I think there's a few people on uh, who've heard this webinar, but. Uh, this is going to be five ways to 18,505 visitors per month. What we're really talking about today is how to drive blog traffic because everyone wants to know how to drive it. And what we're going to be talking about today is not just blog traffic, but qualified blog traffic because that's really the best thing that we can do. And when they go into that, the entire process of how I work and just some ways that I'm, methods I'm able to do that, and then we'll go into through some uh, specials afterwards, and they could uh, show you some even cooler secrets as well. So with that being said, let's let's get started. First, first thing you probably want to know, who the heck am I? For those of you who know me, my name is Andy Still. I'm not, I haven't changed my name. <laughs> but uh, I've been an entrepreneur. I love to travel. I love my wife. As you can see, the beautiful picture of us all colored in chalk. But uh, more importantly, the biggest question that you're probably asking is, how do I know what's going on? What, what's going on here? How, how can I actually help you out with your blog traffic? Well, here's my story. Starting, this is starting in 2008. 2008, the mortgage market crashes. I was actually a mortgage broker for about five years. I was a real estate investor for another four years as well. And one of the things that I did was, uh, I, when I was working in mortgages, all my clients were real estate investors. Well, one of the things I did was I got a license in Indiana. The reason why I got a license in Indiana was because I was told that you could get higher percentages on the mortgage to commission rates there. It was a great deal. And all of a sudden, I spent six months on a deal in Indiana, and I got a $12 mortgage commission. Wow. You, I literally sat there. I looked at the check, and I'm, I'm actually trying to find it. Because someone mentioned to me, they said, do you actually have the check? I said, I can't even find it. I don't know if I just tossed it out. It was so sad. But I, I, I got a $12 mortgage commission check, and it, something inside me snapped. And it was at that point where I knew I had to do something different. And what happens is that at this point, I was already starting to look at social media to build my mortgage business, and I started to take a look. I'm like, wait, I'm getting 10 leads, 20 leads a month just from social media, from random people that I'm connecting with. And instead of worrying about $12 commission checks, maybe I should be looking at something else. And I'm like, well, and I started showing family and friends how to use social media, how to use Facebook, how to use Twitter. And all of a sudden, one day, my dad said something I've never heard him say in my entire life. Maybe you should turn this into a business. And I said, oh, that's a good idea. And I started taking a look at this. Because what happened was I was going through a lot of life changes. This is my whoa moment. In September of 2009, I moved out of my condo in Schaumburg, which I lived, where I lived for about five years. And I moved in with my wife, my soon-to-be wife. In October, I started up this business, and then in November of that year, I actually got married. So it was sort of like a whirlwind two months, and it was a really huge time, and I started learning all these different things, and at the beginning of 2010, I sat down, I evaluated what I had learned, and there was so much stuff that I had learned in just a short period of time, even during all this crazy stuff, I had met amazing people, and what I decided to do was I said, I'm going to start blogging. I'm 
going to create a destination for people to see all the stuff I learned about social media. Because I, I do a lot of work as a consultant for social media. I want people to, sh I want to showcase my knowledge so they can actually understand how I can help them with their business. This is how this started. And I said, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about this later on. But I said, I need to challenge myself. January 8, 2010, which is actually my birthday, I said, I'm going to blog for one year. I'm going to blog five times a week. I'm not going to blog on the weekends because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to commit myself to that. And even to this day, I'm not able to blog. I'm generally not good at blogging both days on the weekends. But I'm going to blog five times a week for one year, and we're going to see what happens. And that's actually how today I can officially say I'm a certifiable <laughs> blogger since 2010 because I've been crazy enough to actually do that. And this is me in a straight jacket just to prove a point. So with that being said, I'm going to go into what I've actually done. I've actually had 752 blog posts that I've written. I know that's actually a little bit outdated because I think I put that up last week. So it's probably closer to 760. But I've also had over 3,500 comments on my blog. And I've had 146,000 unique visitors to my blog since my first post, January 21st, 2010. It took me about two weeks to get the site up and running. And when I started blogging, I just didn't stop. I kept going. I kept learning. And I started learning about SEO. I started learning about uh, how WordPress works. I started learning about internet marketing. And it's that knowledge I want to start sharing with you. So what I'm going to talk to you next is about how it actually works. Let's start with number one. Everyone, when you get started, you're going to have mistakes. I'm telling you this right now because I probably made more mistakes in blogging than most people will ever do in social media at all. Because every single day, I would go, I'd go on the first year and I realized, oh, I have a really ugly design for my blog. I mean, it was like horrid. I had like this like really ugly magenta red that just like, I looked at it and I, I, it was on, I couldn't get it off network blogs on Facebook for a little while. So it's like, I had to keep staring at it. It was just so bad. Then in addition to that, I didn't even realize that SEO would be useful to me, to my business, because I was teaching people about social media. It took me about six months to actually start understanding how to use it, and another three months before I actually started implementing it. I get about 50% of my traffic now from social media. Additionally, I didn't even know how to set up an RSS feed in the first five months I was blogging. One of the things that happened was that people kept saying, hey Andy, I want to sign up for your RSS feed so I can continuously get your blog, and I'd say, okay, it's, I think it's set up, but I didn't do it right. All I had to do was go to feedburner.com and set it up, and it, it took two minutes, but it took me five months to figure out how to do that. And if you want to know more about this, because I'm not going to go through every single like mistake right here, there's a list of ones that I did last year when I, after I finally say, got a chance to look back and actually take a look at it again. Every year I like to take a look back and see what I've done. And this is one of the things I noticed, like these are some of the mistakes. And that's a blog post I actually wrote called my social networking blog, Dullest, 10 times over. Duh, because it's like, duh, how could you actually miss that? So you're going to make mistakes. I'm telling you this right now, but that's okay. The mistakes are the things that teach you what you need to do. Once you go over those mistakes, the next thing you have to understand is you have to maintain your consistency. I told you before that I decided in 2010 that I would be a blog five times a week for a year. That's the only reason why we are all on this call today. We are on this call because while we were talk, while we, while I decided to do that, I decided to expand who I was and how I actually operated my business. It taught me more about social media in one year, in two years, than most people who are in the business would learn in 10 actually doing it because I actually had to research it every single day, new topics, new ideas, new thoughts, and it expanded my mind to actually understand how to do it successfully for a client. So that consistency is huge. Without it, you won't be able to get any success with your blog traffic. Really, I love it when people say to me, well, I really don't think I need a blog more than once every two months. No, you have to blog a lot. I had. I just had this conversation with a client yesterday that we closed, and she was telling me we're doing some content for her. She told me, she's like, I don't know if I need to blog. I don't know if I need to blog every two weeks. No, you do. You have to blog once a week at least. 
that consistency that makes it amazing. Number three, make sure you plan and analyze what you're doing. You have to have a plan. When I go in every single day, I have a plan that I'm going to spend 45 minutes on my blog. I have different segments that I do on my blog every single week. On Tuesday, I have my Guru Gusher segment where I talk about different products to help businesses with different internet marketing products. On Friday, I talk about the social networking minute, things you can do in one minute to help out your business. Those didn't just happen overnight, but what they, they do is they help out my my readers to actually know what's going on. It's a plan. They know this is what I'm going to blog, this is what I'm going to talk about, and this is how I can help them. Along with that, oops, along with that, you have to be interesting in your blog. Sorry. Uh, for those of you, I'm not, I'm not sure, can, by the way, can people read this be interesting part? Yes. Like, I don't know if you're, yes. Uh, It's all right. I'll get it for you. Just okay. I don't know. If you, can people see? I just yes, they sure can see it. See the WordPress comment system. Yes. I was told recently that it wasn't readable, so I just want to make sure it's readable here. Yeah, I'm t I'm I'm typing in the uh, link in there for them this time. All right, just making it really easy. Oh, gee, that link, didn't you? I'm sorry. I apologize. I was supposed to send you that link, wasn't I? That's all right. I got it, bro. You're doing fine. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, sorry, by the way, one of my cats just got in. I'm doing a presentation tomorrow on uh, LinkedIn, and my cat just got into my, my uh, projector, so give me one second here. <laughs> That's how you'd be interesting. You have your cats go into your projectors during another webinar speech. <laughs> uh, the What I mean by being interesting is be yourself, be different. Think about how you could actually talk to people and actually create something really, really cool. That's different than what everybody else is talking about and still be useful. I know a lot of people said infotainment. Edu, edu, uh, it's, what is it? Info, infotainment, I think edu, what's it? Edutainment, there's a hundred different ways of saying it. But <laughs> the point is, think about how you could give people information to help them in an interesting way. So when, this is one of my favorite posts. I actually did a college bracket system for WordPress common system. So for those of you who use WordPress common system, those are the things that help you get rid of spam. And I had the biggest problem with Discus. Intense debate was like destroying my site. Recapture wasn't really working at one point. And then bad behavior, oh my God, it's just horrible. So I actually did a, a WordPress Commons bracket system to see which one would be best. And this is what I came up with. And then a month later, I found out a better solution. But the point is, I actually did those death matches, and that was one of my highest rating blog posts because I had people on StumbleUpon sharing that like crazy. I had like 2,000 views of just that one post in like 20, 48 hours. It was not. Be interesting, be different. Additionally, I like to use cartoons. Do something funny. I think I'm kind of funny. Not like, you think I'm ha ha funny? <laughs> bad joke. But, you know, I tell bad jokes on my blog all the time. And use that sense of humor that you have to increase your blog traffic. Because people will appreciate you being you. Finally, try. And this is one of the things that I really didn't get my first year, and I think it was my biggest lesson in the second year I was blogging. I wanted to do it by myself my first year blogging. I didn't see the power in actually networking to connect with people. What I had to learn was that I had to become part of a tribe. And for those of you who have never read Seth Godin's Tribes, which I actually have the book here, tribes are basically... Uh, in what he talks about, think of the traditional Native American tribe. It's a group of people who help each other in a community. What happens is in blogging, in internet marketing, there's online tribes. And one of the things I really started getting attached to is these online tribes because it's a group of people who help you and develop your blogging, develop your social media. And they make what you do even better because it creates a community around your blog. So that's one of the biggest things I've done, and this is an example just from some posts I did last month, and you can take a look. This is, uh, I'm part of uh, I'm part of seven tribes altogether. I'm the ruler of two different tribes. And out of those tribes, I have 94 tribes mates, and I have a reach of 4.5 million people. That means whatever I do a blog post, 
4.5 million people could actually see what I wrote about. So when you think about that, not everyone's going to see it, but you can see on the right-hand side, these are how many shares and these are how many clicks I actually got on recent blog posts. So I did a blog post that Facebook had existed in history. What would like Henry, King Henry VIII be like on Facebook? That got 35 shares and 258 people actually went to my website to actually check out that post. Then <clears throat> I had a, a post on Guru Gusher. That's what I was saying, my Tuesday post. It was on Converter, which is an internet marketing software that converts articles into videos. Really cool software. And I had 96 people check it out. I post 25 times a month, roughly, five times a week. Then there's 30 days, 22, whatever. If you times 25, let's just say 100, just to be on the minimum side, you're talking about 2,500 visits per month just from these tribes. The power in them is massive. And there's people in these groups that have 15 million, 20 million people that reach in terms of their reach, and they are they able to do amazing things. So with that being said, I'm now going to talk to you about the biggest thing that you probably want to know, how do we turn this blog traffic into money? So Rick, uh, I, mean, I, I just want to see a show of hands here from people in the group. How many people in this room have an Android or an iPhone? All right. Just, how many people are saying yes, they're raising their hands? We've got three, four, five of them saying yes. Now, which ones are they? Do you want to differentiate between an Android or or the or the how many, iPhone? How many people in this room have Android? Let's let's just go with that. Okay. Is there some different reason for the Android over over an iPhone? Is one of them easier to use to for blogging? I'll, I'll explain this, and it'll, I think it'll be self-explanatory. Okay. All right. Well, that's why I was asking because you've never. Yeah. No, you've I never... appreciate that. Um, I'll I'll go through that and explain how. Looks like I'm most people so far are saying they've got a Droid. Okay. Who said they had a droid? Uh, it looks like it says yes, it's fine. It looks like uh, three or four of them are, are actually talking about droids. Uh, do we have to put them out there, or do you, can we just go on with no, the... No, just, I'm just going to bring this up. If you want to go through this with me as you're going through, for those of you who have a droid, you go to the Google Play, Sta the Google Play Store. For those of you who have iPhones, I don't know if they have the equivalent, but, you know, obviously there's everyone's heard there's an app for everything. I'm assuming that's a common enough phrase at this point. There's an app for everything. Well, one of the things I do, I told you at the beginning that I do consultations for clients, showing them how to use social media. I show them how to use blogging now as well. And one of the things that I recently did, because of my traffic, I had a client who asked me, hey, I want to use your services to get certain types of clients. He's an attorney, really smart guy, knows what he's doing. How can I, how can we do that? And I started talking about how I can create content for his marketing, his marketing business. And what we did was, is that we actually went through and we started going through how we could actually do that. And we broke everything down. I said, well, can you give me some examples of how that works? And one of the things that I actually have on my Android phone is I actually have an app for my, for my Google Analytics. So I can actually go on my phone and see how many people have actually come to my site in one day. And what I did was I, to I told them, I said, look, I had 400 people come to my site yesterday it was a, I said that was a slow day I said that's how many people I'm driving now I'm driving a lot more traffic but I've been doing this about two and a half years and I blog every day would you be interested in some a traffic similar to that he said of course let's go for it that's how you start using this you start using yourself as the sales demo you start getting the traffic yourself you start you start building the business online, and you can actually use yourself to actually sell to your clients. And that's one of the things that I'm doing right now. I do use testimonials. They're great. Everyone should use testimonials. I actually am doing a link, like I said, I'm doing a LinkedIn presentation tomorrow. I actually just got some sales numbers from a client who made $4,500 from some LinkedIn uh, connections that I made for him. And I'll use those type of connections for him. I'll show, I'll show people the power of that. But think about the power of actually saying you're your own testimonial and you're walking around. And that's what I actually do to help people. And I show them, hey, look, if I could do it, you could do it too. But I'm not a true, I'm not a writer. I'm, you know, I didn't go to school and get a computer science degree. I didn't have a business degree. I actually came into this business kind of late. And I think you guys could do it too because I could do it. I'm just like you. 
And so for those of you who are looking to learn how to do that, we could definitely, using this system was definitely a good thing to help you. So before I go any further though, I'm sure people have, whoops, I'm sure people have some questions. So just a summary of everything here. One, learn from your mistakes. Two, be consistent. Three, plan ahead. Four, be interesting. Five, create your tribe. I use Triver, I love it. I'm gonna talk more about that in a little bit. And six, your bonus, convert. It's kind of cool, it's fun. Rick, what questions do people have? Well, one of the questions we're seeing here is uh, they're not quite understanding what the difference between the Google Droid is and the and the iPhone as far as for blogging. Is one better to have than the other, or what was what was no. that reasoning? Okay, I was. Okay, I was just showing you one example. I'm sorry, I didn't want to con- I didn't want to confuse you on that. I didn't know if people were to ask about the. That's actually the first time I've done that example before. That's the first time someone actually asked me about the difference between the Apple and uh, iPhone. <laughs> And, you know, I, there's not one that's better than the other. The only reason I bring it up is because that's just the way I converted one client. I'm just giving you an example here. Remember, when you're, whatever you're doing, if you're probably not doing the exact same services that I'm doing, you probably have your own take on how you help businesses out. If you're doing internet marketing, there's different varieties of what you're doing. Right. I'm just talking to you about how you could actually use yourself to be the sales demo. <laughs> And what we're talking about here is to help you out and build your business, build your brand. So when people think, hey, I want to use this service, they think of you. All right. Now, the questions coming in are, are asking if right now, you know, the way that everything keeps changing with Google and the Google Plus and all these other things, if somebody was to start fresh and they had a blog and they were trying to monetize with their blog, doing social media, what – where, where's the fastest way to get paid? What's the fastest service they can do to start making money right away? What's the fastest way they can get paid? Yes. There's not one answer to that. I mean, with you know what, what I would say, the biggest thing I would do right now, I mean, in terms of your blog, you want to get an email list because you want to have people who can come back time and time again. Definitely getting a regular base of business right. is huge. Right. I don't think there's just, there's not one way. And when we talk about blog traffic, we start talking about, we go into how to drive traffic from Facebook, how to drive traffic from Twitter, how to drive traffic from different sources. It's it's not just one method, it's a combination. Right. Whatever works best for you, that's the best way. (laughs) Well, they were wanting to get a little bit more specific about it, you know. If there's something that's working there in Chicago where you live that's maybe working that would be easier to get into, some kind of social media, a, a reputation management. Uh, we're getting other questions in here. You know, what do they, what do they, are they, what do they, where do they live? What do they do? Well, it's looking like they, uh, I can, I can find out. Uh, right now, anybody that's in any major city at all that wants a direct answer to a question that you're putting in here, type in whatever city you're in. Yeah, if you're asking me what's best, it's hard for me to, I, I can't, I, I sort of need to know your personal scenario. It's hard to sort of do that directly on this yes. call. All right, we won't, we I won't. Could, I could give you, I, I don't want to give you a full answer because I, I don't know if I could do that in like two minutes or Right, long. right, I understand. Yeah, we don't want to take a ton of time on this, but if somebody here wants a direct answer uh, for that, Tell us what city you're in and tell us exactly what you want. Because I see general answers, general questions in here, but you'll need to be able to give us a little bit more details and where you're at and what you're trying to do. So, so far, they're not telling me. I guess it's a secret. They don't want to say what city they're in. But, well, uh, that's okay. If you keep it a secret, I'm just not going to have an answer for them. <laughs> yeah, this is the time to be asking questions. He's gone through most of his presentation. We're going to make this short and sweet tonight if we don't get a lot of questions. Uh, the questions we're getting, I guess they're just a little shy. I'm sure they'll uh, get forward a little bit. Uh, let's see. Okay. Shy is okay. Okay, so does anyone have any other questions then? Well, they're not telling us where they're at and what they really, I mean, they're giving me general questions to post in here. So and, are you, you're basically saying they're asking, like, should I do reputation management? Right, or, right. Like, like blogging or reputa- or social media over SEO. Is that the question? Right. 
Okay, well, let me put it this way. If, if you don't like reputation management, you think it's... Look for the quickest way. Look for the thing that you like to do most. Because the reality is that if you don't like what you're going to do, if you don't like what you're doing, you're not going to do it well. I, I've, had, I've done network marketing in the past, and there's nothing wrong with network marketing. In fact, there's a lot of great companies out there for network marketing. I've never enjoyed it. I cannot stand dealing with their like obscene rules. And this is my opinion, by the way. This doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with it. To me, it drives me crazy dealing with the rules that they have. In addition to that, I don't really want to sit there and charge an o what I feel in some cases are overpriced products and then get people in. Now, on the flip side, network marketing is some of the greatest business systems in the world, and there's a lot that I've learned from network marketing in terms of a business system. So is that the best? does that mean everyone's going to hate network marketing? Absolutely not. I have a lot of friends who make a ton of money from network marketing, and they, they're very happy with what they do, but that's, that's their passion. I, I don't have the passion for that. I, I see people who talk about healthcare. And they have so much passion for it. They're talking about saving people's lives, making people feel beautiful. And that's fine. I don't have a passion for it. So that means even if I sold that, and I, was, I did Amway, I did um, Market America, I did, I, I was taking a look at uh, prepaid legal, I took a look at send out cards. Now, there's one or two in there that are not great, but there's a lot of those companies that are really fine institutions. I'm actually still a member of Legal Shield. Because uh, someone signed me up three years ago, I still have my membership, and it's the greatest thing in the world. Actually, just last year, uh, I think I, my membership was paid with one call to their office. But you know what? I think about that, and I'm like, I would never in, in my lifetime want to sell that service because it would bore the living daylights out of me. That just doesn't excite me. So whatever excites you, figure it out, because you will be so passionate about it, you will do so much to actually make sure it happens. I've been spending my entire day. Actually, I had to go. I had to do some real estate stuff earlier today. It was the worst part of my day. I can't stand it. But I have to. I have some properties I still own for real estate. It, when I realized it wasn't my passion, I started switching out and started started selling properties. But when I got back home, I started. I, I started having some connections. I met a great guy. We talked about blog traffic, how to drive massive amounts of traffic, made my day better, closed a few deals, which always makes my day feel better. And then you know what? After that, I got I got sitting down. I started working on this presentation. I worked on another presentation. It was so awesome. I lost track of time. I had four hours go by without me even knowing. But I love doing it. Does that? I hope that answers people's questions. Yes, it does definitely. Yeah, we got some really shy people on here tonight that uh, are, and I know there. I know a couple of them. I know the areas they're at, but they're not telling us what city they're in, so it's a big secret. So we can't help if you don't ask. So <laughs> I'm not. You know, let's not worry about it. I'll tell you what. We'll move on. If someone wants to tell us, we'll get an answer later on. Yeah. Okay. With that being said, so for those of you who are sitting here and you're like, okay. Well, Andy, this is kind of cool. You've given me some basic information. I want to know more. Well, this is the cool part. We actually can tell you more about blog traffic. What we've actually done, this is Rick and I, and by the way, I, I should I did not give Rick his due, by the way, at the beginning, and I apologize for that. This is the godfather of Skype. I mean, this guy is awesome on Skype. So he's coming together because his networking skills are amazing as well. And we're coming together, we're creating a dynamic group about blog traffic. And what we're talking about is ways to increase your traffic to your site through blogging. And the stress of Russian roulette with different traffic methods. Everyone says, well, I'm going to try AdFly. And AdFly is going to drive 10,000 people to my site. And it's, it's all junk traffic. And I'm going to try 7Search. And I, I've done all that stuff. I know what that's like. You try all the cheap stuff. And you try the stuff that you think is going to drive. And I'm going to go on Fiverr and do 10,000... IP a proxy uh, visits to my site, but that doesn't do anything for your business. We're talking about the best traffic sources here. You know, just a way to get your questions answered. So what we've done is we've created a system where on a bi-weekly basis, we're going to discuss top blog traffic topics. For example, uh, at 9.15 tonight, which is in about uh, 40 minutes, we're going to be actually talking about how to do guest blog posting. 
And that's one of my favorite topics is it's really kind of fun. And it's actually, there's some really cool insights into that. I'm going to go through some of the basics, and then we're going to just go through question and answers. Get more people questions people need to know just how they can do it properly for themselves. We do that twice a month. In addition to that, we're also going to have a mastermind Skype room devoted specifically to where we have, where it's not devoted specifically, it is devoted specifically to members of this group where you can network with like sign and network people. This is a great place to network. It's an active group. It's a growing group. And you can be part of the core here. And this is where you could actually talk to people else and ask us questions on a regular basis. Since Rick is the godfather of Skype and I'm on Skype a lot, between the two of us, you'll probably be able to get a question uh, answered in within 24 hours on there, most days. So it's a great place for you to learn and ask questions as well. Also, because Rick is a master of offline consulting as well, he's going to be providing a surprise bonus of the month to members about how to actually use these these tools and other tools that he's developed that would go around blogging to actually get you money, conversions. Because that's what it's all about. It's all about the money and the conversions in the end. And we know a lot of people on this call are internet marketers, they're consultants. So he has a lot of products related to that to sort of tie everything in. Additionally, because of the fact that I know a lot of people on this call want to get some massive traffic, they want to get some people taking a look at what they're doing. I have two Twitter accounts. One has 67,000 followers. 67,000 followers. Another one has 30,000 followers. And what I'll do is once a month, I'll write a custom tweet about whatever internet marketing, consulting product or service you're working on at the time, and I'll send it out. It could be a sales, it could be a squeeze page, whatever you want to send them to. You, you don't have to give me any affiliate links. You don't have to give me, you don't have to do a co, uh, what's it, a co-subscriber, co-registration. I'll send it out to you. That's included with it. Finally, because of the fact that I do have such a large following and we're actually growing our Twitter following in the Triber group that we actually created. We have about 71,000 followers right now or 71,000 people in the group that we just created and we're growing that. And what we're going to offer is we're going to offer you exclusive access to this group. Now, this is a quid pro quo thing where you do have to, in exchange for what we're doing, you do have to do you do have to offer, or you do have to tweet back my stuff as well for my blog. But every single day, whenever you post your blog post, I'll post yours back as well. Finally, we have time bonuses. For every member who's with us for at least a month, we'll give you a free copy of Blog Traffic Mafioso. Additionally, for every uh, customer who's with us for at least three months, we're going to give them a copy of Blog Traffic Mafia, our 21 steps to blogging. At six months, I have a free WordPress video tutorial, which I normally charge $47 for. And finally, at 12 months, we're not just going to give you information. We're actually going to do stuff. We're actually going to like do the services that we normally charge. This is a $375 value. We're going to give you a free WordPress squeeze page. And also, you can have a one-on-one, one-hour Skype coaching call with either Rick or myself. So with all this being said, you're probably asking, well, that's great. Oh, I'm sorry, by the way. Let me see. <laughs> uh, that's great, but how much does this charge? So what I'm going to offer is for tonight only, we're going to do the first 14 days, you get for $1. That's less than a cup of coffee. In fact, if you go to Starbucks, I paid $1.50 just for a small cup of tea. So you can't even get a cup of tea for a dollar at Starbucks. Additionally, it's just $17 per month after that. So all you need to do to join is go to the link here, and I believe Rick is also posting that in the chat room Yep. as well, or he will be shortly. And uh, you can go to this link at goo.gl forward slash rmlcl. That's Google, it's a word, Google's URL shortener, and it's short because the link is a little bit long, and you can go to that link, and you can sign up right now, and you can also get access to the guest blogging post that we're going to be doing after this. So, with that being said, I'm going to stay on this page, but does anyone have any questions?
about this offer? Uh, we do have a few questions coming in. Okay, cool. Um, first one is from Lori. I do local marketing in Maui. Uh, she's in Hawaii. Fantastic. So, uh, Lori, you know could you do us a if little? You need somebody for an assistant. Yeah, definitely in Hawaii. I'm willing to travel to Hawaii. Only this once. <laughs> Bad joke. No. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. What were you going to say, Rick? No, no. I definitely would like to. I, that would be awesome, wouldn't it, be in Hawaii? She's probably yeah. wanting to be. You know. No, what's the question here, Lori? Um, yeah, Lori says, come on over. Lori, be a little bit more specific about what you're doing as far as local marketing. What are you doing now? Uh, what do you need help with? What? How do you see social media on the rise? Are you using social media now? Are you using reputation management? Give us some specifics if we're going to answer your question there, please. Uh, local marketing, uh, that's very vague. So, All right. Well, well while we're waiting on Lori, uh, how do we get in your room is what Rowdy Yates says. Uh, <clears throat> By all means, um, he's in the blog traffic mafia room already. I'm sure, correct? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you are. Okay, he probably yeah. wants to get. In. Okay, I tell you what, Roddy, we'll catch up after the after the webinar here. Uh, go into the blog traffic um, room, and I'll make sure to hook you up with my mafia meetup room. Not, not, no worries. We'll take care of that later. And also, since you're also a member already, just make sure you also are on the call afterwards. By the way, the link's in the uh, Skype room. Once you get in there, but yeah. I'm pretty sure you're already in there. Yeah, he's in there. I'm sure he's wanting to be in the mafia meetup or something. But we'll talk later. That's fine. Uh, not a problem. Just go in the Skype room later, and we'll take care of you. Now, Lori's over here. She's going back, and she says, "I do whatever I can to get a client to pay me to do something." Okay, how do you get more business to front? There we go. Now we're getting the questions we need, Lori. Now we can start helping you. All right. Now here's what she's asking. Now, how do we get more business from Facebook and LinkedIn? How do we get more Facebook? Ooh. Um, okay. You're doing local business, like you're helping local business with their, like, reputation management. Is that what you mean? Lori, it's time, it's time to step up to the plate. You asked the question. We're trying to help you. So let's get a little bit more specific. We could be here for quite some time to answer this question. So we want to help you. Andy's okay. definitely got the answers. And don't forget, those that come on board tonight for the $1 trial will be able to come back at 9.15 tonight, and we're going to dig in deep on Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever you need to help you make more money with your local services where you live. Again, that's for our paying members only, and uh, that's going to that's gonna be a $1 trial. Basically, okay, here she comes. Basically trying to bring business and more customers. Okay, Lori, uh, definitely we'd like to help you, but you please need to be a little bit more specific Perhaps we need to help her when the question and answer session for the paid members come on board tonight. Yeah. At, yeah. Lori, let's go over that later on because I think you're, I'm pretty sure you're a paid member. Is she, is Lori, is Lori already a paid member? Okay. All I think right. she did recently. Okay. I don't remember. All right. I'm sorry, Lori. I, I'm pretty sure you did. I just can't remember anymore. Yeah. It's well, been that type of day. <laughs> I can barely hear Rick again. Now, my question is this. Does anybody else in here have a problem hearing me? I don't quite they understand it. Fine this time, so I don't know. Now they can hear you, but they can't hear me. I've got a microphone about six inches from my mouth, so I'm just very curious. Jeffrey's saying he cannot hear me. Could somebody please type in here if they cannot hear me? Besides Jeffrey, perhaps he needs to turn up as a uh, very faint. Interesting. All right. Well, we'll do a sound check. Can you hear me any better at all? Uh, let's make sure somebody type in yes or no, please. Yay or nay. I need to understand what is going on with my microphone, please. Better, yes, much better. Okay, thank you so much. My apologies. All right, moving on. It's about 845 now. Andy's blog, andynathan.net. Uh, hopefully, you all of you should be able to type that in. Andynathan.net. Pretty, pretty short URL. Uh, that's my main blog. That's the one I've been using as an example here. Additionally, to get in contact with us, you have both my Skype ID and Rick's, so you can talk to both either one of us. There you go. And then, again, since we mentioned it, everyone who's on this call gets the free bonus 
for Rick and Jerry Williamson's hijacking of Phyllis and JV partners without them ever knowing. So thank you for that. We even offer this for them. Well, I'd like to say something about that. There's a few people. Yeah, before we go any further, hold on for just one moment, please. Um, we've got that bonus there for a reason to help you with your business. And the strange thing about it is everybody is eligible for that bonus that's came to the to the webinar. But the funny thing is you have to actually ask for it. So you're going to have to go to PM me because that is a shared product with my friend Jerry Williamson that I interviewed him. We did a webinar. We did some amazing things together earlier this year. And it was about how to attract clients and how to attract uh, people to partner with. So uh, by all means, when you get in the Skype room uh, or, or PM me direct, either one, um, definitely it can help you. So, uh, but you got to ask. So I'm not going to put it in under, unless you ask. So anyway. Okay. Uh, any other questions? We don't see any at all here. Yet. We're going to give them a couple of minutes here, maybe one minute. And then move right along to our 915 webinar. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's give them about uh, one. I didn't realize how quick I was going, by the way. That's, right. that's all right. Do we have to have Skype to get the bonus? Yes, you have to get Skype. I'm not going to just ha freely hand that out to you. Um, there's a reason for that. You need to be on Skype. And uh, we can help you get on Skype. So just download Skype, pretty easy. Uh, get on Skype, PM me or him also. That's the only way you. Uh, this guy. Help you out with uh, getting everything set up that's, on Skype. I could do. I could do a walkthrough with you. There you go. On the, phone. the reason why, it, and maybe you know, the bottom line is Joe that we're not trying to be mean or crude or anything. The fact of the matter is, the help, the training, the the assistance where we help each other is on Skype. So you really need to be there. So it's for your own good. Uh, and I mean that in the nicest way. I'm no good at Skype. That's okay. It's okay, Joe. We all started somewhere. It's not a hard thing. I promise you. Once you get to playing with Skype, you'll see in a lot of ways it's a whole lot easier than Facebook. Facebook's definitely got some definitely great uses too, of course. But as far as our training and how we work together to solve people's problems and help them make money, help each other, help each other in the group. And it's not just about me and Andy. It's about all of you. All of you in the group, we've got, you know, all of them helping each other. There's some fantastic people in this blog traffic Skype room. And um, you can collaborate together, find out ways to make money together, find out ways to save money on products and services, and the, just the whole fact of it being a mastermind. So, again, you need to be in Skype to do that. So, All right, it looks like that's all the questions we have right now. What do you say we wrap this up and get ready for the 915 call? That sounds good. I'll see every. I'll, I'll see those who signed up there, and uh, thank you very much to those who signed up tonight. All right, thank you, everybody. We'll see you at nine fifteen for those that come aboard. And remember, we'll take the time to answer all of your questions. Again, it's one dollar to uh, to enroll tonight. Pretty much a no brainer. Thank you so much, everybody that came. Thank you for those that come on board, and we'll help you in every way we can at nine fifteen as soon as you come on board. Thank you so much.